Hello everyone, my name is Grax and welcome to the another special video from the World of Tanks. Today we will take a look at the rare Chinese tank WZ111. For me I must say it's the best tier 8 tank which I ever played. So first of all let's take a look at its characteristics. So hit points are uh, 1550 yeah that's quite average weight is 44.5 tons and engine power is 520 top speed is very good for heavy tank it's 50 kilometers per hour the driver speed is 26 degrees per second I must say that I was really surprised because, uh, nicely surprised of course, because it turns really damn fast for a heavy tank and I've never saw anything like this. Hull armor is 120 to 80 to 60. Maybe you're saying 120 for a theory tank, really? Well, just look at these two massive plates. It's quite similar to these on uh, IS-3 or IS-7 and it will bounce most of the fire shots. However, this lower plate is extremely vulnerable to enemy fire and few shots may penetrate this, this piece of armor, so beware of that. And however, this these hatches are two weak spots but anyway the frontal of the turret is almost unpenetrable and also do not try to angle your tank like this because they will shoot you right here and from this angle it will penetrate and there is the ammunition so beware of that but this armor is magic i really love that and it's too very similar to the these on is3 or is7 and under this there is a space and there the shell lost uh, i think 70% of its penetration so it won't penetrate you even if you will be angled to an emitting like this it won't penetrate you it's just awesome and it's too good for side scraping if you will have some barrier covering you this part there it will be unpenetrable okay Another thing uh, w which is really good for this tank and I'm so happy for it is its gun and shell. Just look at these stats. Standard AP penetration is 131 to 219 and damage is really good. 293 to 488. I often got uh, standard damage about 380 which is really good heat has got a penetration 188 to 313 millimeters and damage is same as the AP shell and the, the third one is HE shell and that has got a penetration from 46 millimeters to 76 millimeters and standard damage is 398 to 60 uh, sorry to 663 and I love this gun I had no problem even with penetrating the uh, night night tanks so it's really good rate of fire is 4.8 round, rounds per minute the retriever speed is 26 degrees per second, view range is 380 and signal range is 60 meters. 
and if you will see this tank in a premium sh shop buy it I really have nothing against this tank I I really can't see any cons just these few weak spots but for me it's the best tier rate premium tank which I ever played and tier rate tank at all and I really don't know if it will appear in a premium shop because this was given out as a reward of the speci special mission I didn't completed it because I haven't got researched or all of the tech trees and the mission was that you must destroy 150 tanks and deal 150k of damage and f for every of the of the tech tree so you have to do this separately on French tech tree, American tech tree, uh, German tech tree, and you had months to complete that. And I completed just a German because, yeah, it's almost impossible to finish it. But if you will complete it, if you will complete it, you will get a really, really good tank. So, I think that I said everything what I wanted, and let's move on to the first battle. The battle is not a replay, it's a live battle, so I my apologize once more if I will not be concentrated, and so... Tier 9 battle. Amazing. But there was a bug, I think it, it was a bug. And it was really horrible. And that was I loaded heat shell. And I aimed at the RHM BWT. Shot it. And it didn't penetrate it. Yes, you hear me. It didn't penetrate it. I fired at this TD with a gold because it was the only, only enemy which I saw. And I really don't know how is how this didn't penetrate it. I don't understand it. But this won't happen too often, so don't worry. Fast as possible. Oh, 
come on. I'm so lucky this time. Uh. Yes, the accuracy at long distances may be uh, maybe a uh, little problem, but Get going. it won't be as good. So, okay. Please, good matchmaking. Please, good. Yeah. That's a very good matchmaking. Mm -hmm. The largest problem for me will be probably super perishing. Maybe you're asking. Why super perishing? It's medium tank. Well, after these super buffs of its armor, it's almost indestructible. Trust me. Yeah, how, however, the turret is weak spot. I mean, the turret roof. But, that is all. Okay, there is one very 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 small weak spot and that is a machine gun on its third sorry armor roll but that is all and I say that bed isn't wasn't I I wanted to say on its whole. Yeah. Oh. Oh, come on. The accuracy on distances is not very good however it's still a very 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 great gun and yo I said that I have no cans for it this is the first but that is all. It's mine. It's mine. Maybe not. But now he's blocking me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Go right. There is the KV5. Maybe error. On the test client, I haven't got enabled that. I see what thing is it. There it is. Maybe I've hit him. No, that's the T28 prototype.
aiming at weak spots. Aiming at weak spots. Come on. Oh, whoa, whoa. No, you don't. No, you don't. Not today. Not today. Careful aiming at KV5. Critical hit. And no. But anyway, this was the battle. You go to use its great armor. Really? Here, take a look how much m money I made. That's very good for me. And let's move on to the next battle. I hope it will be better than this. Oh god. I think that, that we'll be able to make this because this is a very good thing and even penetrating tier 9 thing is not a match for it so let's Time to roll out. Here, look at it, really good speed. And there are so many of them. Our tracks are damaged. Penetration. We oh, lost some no. ammo, but at least it did Everything explode. but Amoric. I like my allies going to line of fire. Very true. No. Wow, what the... This vehicle is 
Alright guys, I'm going to end this video here. I wanted to do a few more battles, but when I play them, my team sucks and we lose. So, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed this, be sure to leave a like and uh, remember that I will start making videos from the Five Nights at Freddy's soon, so be sure to subscribe. And see you next time, guys.